Markwaba. My name is AC Kokui, and this is What's the Wahala AC, where we discuss all the Wahala from the week. It's the last week of January. I'm so excited. February is approaching. January has been so long. It's one of those months that, you know, is like April where it just drags on. There's not much to do in January. There's not much to do in April. So it's like, uh, let's get to the exciting months like February. Hello. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's head to our big three. I'm cool because we the big three. Don't need a big speech. We made the biggest impact. Check the spreadsheet. All right, you guys, first on our big three, we have Julia Fox and Kanye. Let me say that over again, because it's Kanye West and Julia Fox. So they have been dating for a while now. And I, yeah, I just, I don't know how I feel about this couple. I feel like Kanye is trying to make her a moment and I don't exactly know if that moment is gonna come. <laughs> um, she said that their couple name is Julia Ye. Julia Ye. Yeah. Julia Ye. And it still, it doesn't go like Kim Ye. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> it doesn't. And I don't know. It's just like, I feel like it's a lot of theatrics. If you've seen their paparazzi photos, they, it, everything seems very rehearsed and staged and just like not intimate and genuine and just, you know, we don't know how intimate and genuine Kim Ye's relationship was, but it, it seemed a lot more than this for sure. And I don't know what Kanye feels like he has to prove. He probably is doing this because of the Kim and Pete and their relationship and how great how better kind of their relationship looks and how it doesn't I don't know I feel like it looks less of a publicity stunt and maybe a publicity stunt but it looks less of a publicity stunt than Kim and Julia and so or then sorry then Kanye and Julia and so yeah I don't I just don't know what the moment he is trying to create with this it's not giving and so he needs to give it up <laughs> uh, unless he really likes her but at the moment it just doesn't look like he does so cardi b won her case against youtuber sasha k sasha k reported a lot of lies she reported a lot of stories that uh cardi said that was was a defamation of character to Cardi and it caused her a lot of emotional distress, emotional and mental distress. And so um, she took her to court because of it and Sasha K lost. She claimed a lot of things, Sasha K claimed a lot of things about Cardi that she was into prostitution, that she did cocaine, all these other things. And so she won the case and she was awarded. She was awarded 1 million in general damages and then $250,000 uh, for medical expenses. And then she was awarded another million in punitive damages and then $500,000 from, from Sasha K's studio she was awarded another 1.3 to cover her litigation costs. And so she just got a whole lot of money back um, just for this trial and Sasha K definitely lost out. And so, I don't know, it makes me also kind of like be a little weary of reporting on, you know, celebrities and celebrity news because it's like, you're reporting you're supposed to be reporting on stories that are true and if they aren't you say alleged if you don't know if you don't know if and if they're not true yeah you just say alleged i don't know for me i feel like you know i'm in a different space like i am not here to be any types of messy or you know try and ruin anybody's life I just want to report on the news that, you know, everybody is kind of interested in and um, kind of give my opinion to it. But I'm not saying that my opinions are facts or anything like that. I think where Sasha K goes wrong is that, you know, I don't really watch her videos. I've seen a couple. Um, so I can't really give too much of an opinion to it. But, you know, sometimes we have to be careful what we do for a check. 
we have to be careful of what we spread about people um, and how that will affect them. You know, why I got into entertainment news is because I wanted to report on true stories. I wanted to show celebrities in a different light than, you know, like how a TMZ reports or maybe like how a Sasha K reports. Like I want, I wanted to be able to show that they are humans as well and they deserve grace because they, they were regular, most of them were regular people before all of this, you know? And so we're all just learning, we're all learning to navigate this world differently. They just happen to do it with a magnifying lens. Just, just be careful because you could have to pay a celebrity for almost $4 million, almost $5 million. That's crazy, that's really crazy. But, you know, congratulations to Cardi for fighting for herself, fighting for her character, and not giving in to, um, you know, media bullies. And lastly, on our big three, we have to discuss the passing of Regina King's son, son Ian Alexander, who died by suicide at 26 years old. A report given from The Hollywood Reporter states, our family is devastated at the deepest level by the loss of by the loss of Ian. He is such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others. Our family asks for a respectful consideration during this private time. Thank you. And so that is kind of all we know. It actually hasn't been confirmed from the family that he died by suicide, but from People Magazine. Um, I don't know how they got that confirmed but they confirmed that it was through suicide and so it is just a really really sad story and I send my condolences to Regina King um, there are so many videos of her talking about how much she just loved her son and you know the social media age can be like bittersweet in that you can pull these interviews and things back out it's kind of weird to post about how her greatest fear is like losing her children, losing her son, and she lost her son. So it, you know, be careful of the things that you post and repost um, because it, it's just like, you gotta think about it, honestly. You just gotta think about like, does this make sense to post something that actually ended up happening. I just send my condolences to Regina King and to her family. And as you can see on Twitter and on Instagram, there was a lot of support given other than the fact that people were reposting videos like that, but there was a lot of support given to Regina. And it is mostly just to speak to how great of an actress she is, how great of a person she is. And you know, we all felt that pain um, when we saw the news. And so just sending love and light to her family. All right, you guys, that was our big three. And now it is time for our weekly wrap up. Britney Spears sent her sister Jamie Lynn Spears a cease and desist letter to stop her from talking about anything pertaining to Britney. But that didn't stop Britney from going in on her sister and telling her about herself, okay? Jeannie Mai and Jeezy reveal the sex and the name of their new child and it is a baby girl whose name is monaco my jenkins congratulations to them that just made me so happy adele announced that her residency in vegas is postponed nick jonas and his wife priyanka chopra announced that they welcome their first child via surrogacy congratulations to them princess love shared that her and ray j are no longer together but doing a great job at co-parenting Shakari Richardson had a documentary uh, premiere at the Sundance Festival and it was actually produced by the late Virgil Abloh. There are reports that Nicki will be releasing a new song with Little Baby next month. Okay, I am excited for it, but I don't know if she wants us to know this news, so if y'all get us in trouble, that's on y'all. That's not me. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm excited. I'm ready for new Nicki music, okay? And lastly, the Fugees canceled their 25th reunion tour anniversary. And so hopefully they're able to bring that back after COVID kind of subsides or you know gets a little bit better we want to see the fugees in concert and thank you guys so much that is our weekly wrap up let's head into what's on my playlist 
All right, you guys, what's on my playlist? What am I listening to? What am I watching? So what I'm watching is Cheer. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but Cheer is out. It is back and it is on Netflix. The season two is there and it is showing everything that happened from, you know, once the show premiered and kind of like all the recognition they were getting into you know preparing for daytona into you know COVID hitting and that affecting them and so um it is on netflix and it it's pretty good still so make sure to watch it and that's really all i have on my playlist this week but next week, I am going to be listening to a couple of different African artists. So hopefully I have some recommendations for you then. All right, you guys, as you know, I love to end my show with some positivity and some good vibes. And today's message is always demand what you deserve always demand what you deserve in anything when it comes to relationships you should always demand what you deserve from those people always demand what you deserve in this lifetime you know how you deserve to be treated how you deserve to be paid how you deserve to treat yourself like demand that from yourself demand how you need to be talked to from your friends from your family you know these jobs also they're not loyal to us so you should always demand what you what you feel like you deserve and if you don't get that go to something better work towards something better because there is always something better there's always better out there for you there's always someone who is going to be able to appreciate you and treat you how you deserve there's always going to be a better job that will be able to show you your worth in the company there is there's always better out there so go ahead and demand that in every aspect of your life medasa thank you so much for watching what's the wahala ac and i will see you next week for a new video